Hi, my name is Jack from Painted Legion. Today I'm going to show you how to sculpt tabards for your Space Marine Terminators. This will be perfect for you Dark Angel or Black Templar players, and it's also a good place to start if you're a beginner to sculpting. If you're interested in how I painted the Terminator on screen, I'll include links to the tutorials in the cards and in the description for this video. But this is how our model is going to look before we've painted it. So first let's talk about the tools that we'll be using. First we're going to need a flat piece of plastic or glass, something with a smooth surface that we can roll our green stuff out on, and a roller made of the same material. You'll need a clay shaper. Uh, they have a plastic tip on the end that gives, has a bit of give, which lets you smooth out green stuff. The one I have has a curved side that I can use for smoothing out and a pointed side made of two flat edges that I can use for cutting and sculpting detail. We're gonna use merely put and green stuff uh, that we're gonna mix in equal parts. I'll explain why a bit later and we'll need something to stop our epoxy sticking to everything. So we're gonna use water and Vaseline. We'll also need a hobby knife, preferably an older blade, and we're gonna cut equal parts from the milliput sticks. And my milliput isn't gray anymore since it's a few years old, but it's not giving me a problem, so don't worry if yours looks like this. And we'll also pick out two parts of our green stuff in equal sizes. Then I'll get some water on my fingers so the epoxy doesn't stick to them too much, and I'll start smooshing these together until they're all one color. We'll start with the green stuff until it's all green, and then we'll do the milliput until it's all yellow. And then I'll check uh, the two balls that I have and make sure I've got equal amounts of both. Uh, and if I don't, I'll, I'll pick a piece away. And then once I'm happy that they're the same size, I'll smush those together as well. And we're gonna keep manipulating them until they're one color, they're all homogenous. So the reason we're mixing these two together is that green stuff has plastic properties and can't be worked much, if at all, after it's set. And milliput has more rigid properties and can be sanded and shaped after setting. If we mix the two together, we get a nice middle ground where the epoxy has some give once set, but also can be shaved away with a knife, meaning we can alter some of the mistakes to setting if we need to, making it a bit more beginner friendly. We're then gonna cover our piece of plastic with Vaseline. Now this is gonna get everywhere. It's gonna get over your fingers, over your tools, over your cutting board, over your, over your models. So you will need to wash stuff afterwards. So just do this with a bit of warm water, washing liquid, and an old toothbrush, and it'll come off fine, it won't be a problem. But if you don't do this, uh, your paint won't adhere properly. And we're gonna put some of this Vaseline over our roller that we're gonna use. And then we're gonna grab our blob of, I'm just gonna call it green stuff, but it's a mixture of when you put green stuff. I'm gonna just call it, call it green stuff for the rest of this video for, for ease. Uh, and you're gonna, <laughs> if you try and do what I did here and try and smush a ball with Vaseline on it, <laughs> it's just gonna roll away from you. So smush it a bit onto the, uh, onto the, the palette with your finger and then just roll it out. The key is to roll it wider and longer than you actually need so that you have and you can see there I'm, I'm testing it with the size of the terminator so that you have a bit of play a bit of wiggle room when it comes to cutting out the shape you want you don't want to be limited by how much you've rolled out because uh, once you've rolled this out because you're doing it with vaseline it's hard to then squish it back together and re-roll it because there's vaseline on it it won't uh, stick together properly and once that's all rolled out and you can see there how how thin I roll this out. If you're new to this, I suggest you don't do it this thin. Uh, the thicker it is, the easier it is to work with. The thinner it is, the more realistic it'll look in the end. So I'm gonna leave that to set for about 20 minutes so it's not as delicate to work with a bit later. Now for the rest of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you pretty much everything I do. I'm not gonna cut this up much at all. Uh, it's gonna be a longer video, so uh, let me know in the comments if you prefer the longer videos or you prefer me to, to cut things down a bit more. I just wanna get a feel for what people want to watch. Now, the shape we need is an elongated trapezoid. trapezoid. And what that means, um, how can I explain this? It needs to be about the width at the top where it's going to go under the belt of the model needs to be the width it actually need, it actually is, the way you want it to connect on the model. But you want it to splay out wider at the bottom. And the reason is because you want to be able to put folds into the material so that it looks uh, right. If you just do it a flat piece of material going straight down like a rectangle, it won't look right. So we're gonna give it this blade out wider at, at the bottom, uh, sort of bell shape so that we can do stuff with it later. We can make it look like it's fluttering in the wind and give it some, some rounded folds and stuff. Once you've got the shape, we're going to carefully peel that away from our plastic. We're going to try and get this onto our miniature. This can be a bit of a faff because you make sure you've got Vaseline on your fingers um, because if you don't, you will put fingerprints into the green stuff if you uh, press on it too hard. So you're going to very carefully hold this uh, as light as if as if it was an eggshell. Imagine it lighter than an eggshell even. It's really, really delicate. 
especially at this uh, thickness. So you're going to be really careful and you're going to try and get it onto the part of the model where you want it. And it, it, it'll take a bit of doing because there's Vaseline everywhere, so it's not going to stick properly. And once it's on there, you're going to grab your clay shaper and you're just going to press it into, uh, into the model. And you're just going to kind of smush it in there. Now, we don't mind making a mess of the top where it's going in on the belt because we're going to come back in later and do a bit of sculpting to make it look proper. So just make sure it's on there. What, what's important is it's on there. And now I'm going to try and get some life out of this. And I'm going to pull it away from the model a bit, the, the bottom half away from the model, so that I can um, get a feel for how I want this to look. And you want to look at other details on the model to get a feel for where the wind has been. The idea of the wind is for this particular uh, sculpt. So we can see the purity seals just to the right of where our tabard is. Uh, they're sort of, they're slightly blowing to the to the right. If we modeled this as if there was a strong wind blowing to the left of the Terminator, it wouldn't look right because uh, obviously there's a there's a difference in the way things are flowing. So we want to make sure that Tabard is flowing with the direction that the model may be moving or the direction that other details are moving. And that can be up to you. Do what looks cool uh, and what makes sense to you. And uh, yeah, just have fun with it. You see, I'm trying to get some folds in there, and this is this is quite slow work. Don't rush this. Just tease out what you want. You want to take this slow, because if you rush it, you're gonna it's gonna fold in on itself or stick to something you don't want it to stick to. So just take your time. You've got plenty of time to work with this until before it sets. And you can see there, I'm just gonna give it a, a slight flap to the right of the model there. Once you've got the rough shape that you want, you can start connecting the bottom ends of the tabard to something on the model and this will keep it in place in the direction that you've sculpted it in when it sets it's going to follow gravity so if you have those anchor points on the model uh, it's going to it's not going to go away too much from where you left it when you left it to set so you can see i've i've connected at the end there to the bottom, to the top of the foot uh, and the underside of the shin armor. And I'm pushing the other side, the left bottom part. Uh, and I'm probably going to do a little bit onto the base, maybe if I can find uh, a spot to, to set it. Okay, and once I'm happy with the, the shape and the way it's flowing, I'm going to get some blue tack and stick it onto one of my... Uh, uh, my wood blocks in roughly the direction I want it to set. So in the direction I've made it flow so that uh, I'm using gravity is helping me set this in the direction I want it to. So that's going to take a few hours to set. Uh, I leave it overnight and come back to it the next day. And I'm going to wash it before I do this next step. So take it away, uh, wash it in some warm water and, and uh, washing up liquid. And once it's all dry, we can do this next step. You might find as you're washing it that the tabard pops off. That's okay. So long as it's completely set when you go to wash it, it's gonna it's gonna slot back in as if it fit perfectly because it's it's molded onto wherever it's popped off from. So just take a bit of super glue and pop it back on. And the reason it's gonna pop off is because you've you ha probably have still a layer of Vaseline between the plastic and um the green stuff. So mix up a new batch of Milliput and green stuff and we're going to grab a little bit and we're going to clean up the the mess you may or may have not have made uh, at the um, just under the belt where we connected the, the tabard to the model. So I'm going to put uh, the green stuff I want to work with on my thumb there just so I can grab at it and I take off a little bit and I'm going to work it onto uh, that upper part. And we're going to kill two birds with one stone here. We are going to flatten out any weird creases that are there that don't look right. And we're also going to put in some cloth creases that make it look like cloth. So we're going to stick that in there and just 
try and make it look realistic. Now the way cloth tends to bunch up at the top of a robe is in a kind of triangle. So what you want is you want to sculpt a triangle that's got its point uh, facing down, pointing towards the bottom of the, mo of the model, in the center of that, uh, in the center of the top of that tabard. Uh, I suggest you go look at the, the painted model again at the beginning of the video. In fact, I'll probably put a picture up. I'll probably put a picture up here for you to have a look at. There's a ridge that I make either side of the of the groin area, basically. Uh, and it just, it's a it's an easy little detail to put in that makes it look like it's bunched up just under the belt. Uh, and it also adds a little bit, a little painting detail that you can highlight. It's just a, a nice, easy thing to put in. So we're going to put our green stuff onto the model. We're gonna flatten it out. And then using the, uh, the ridge on our clay shaper, we're going to manipulate that triangle. And once we've got the rough shape of the triangle, we're then going to smooth it out so it doesn't look too much like a, a suggestive <laughs> a suggestive piece underneath his tabard. Uh, this is probably a good time to talk about how I'm lubricating my clay shaper, because if you go in without lubricating it, it's just going to stick to the green stuff like it would anything else. Uh, I am using my spit, which is kind of gross, but that's <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Every time you see the, the clay shaper come off the model and out the camera, that's it's going in my mouth. Completely up to you if you want to do it. I find it is the easiest and fastest way to work. You could use Vaseline if you wanted. Uh, you could also use water. I find water, you're constantly dabbing it and maybe you're putting too much onto the model when you're doing that. It's really annoying. Water, I wouldn't suggest. Vaseline works great. Um, spit, personally, I think works even better. A little gross, but you know, whatever. You get, we, we get the job done. Uh, just clean the model afterwards and then paint it. And we're also going to use a bit of green stuff just to smooth out the transition between the green stuff that we've just put on and the stuff that's already set. You put that on there and you'll just smooth it out. And there we go. Once we've finished all that, that's how it's going to look. So we're going to let that set. Uh, and then once it's set, we're going to give it a, another clean with some warm water and dish soap. And then we can get ready to paint it. Here's another example of a Terminator uh, that I've sculpted for and how I've used the flowing based on the movement of the model, the flowing of the tabard basic, based on the movement of the model. Uh, there's, there's different ways you can make things look if... If a leg is just moved forward, the, the cloth is gonna act a certain way. Uh, just experiment, see what looks right. Um, have a look at how GW mold their tabards for inspiration. Great to look at Black Templar and Dark Angel Deathwing models and to, to get an idea. And there's also tabard that I've sculpted onto the Terminator Captain. If you're interested how, in how I did the conversion for that, because you have to cut away some stuff uh, if you're interested in seeing how I did that, let me know. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you got some value out of that. If you enjoy this content, uh, please subscribe. It, it tells me that the content I'm making is correct for the audience I have. So if you enjoy watching what I'm putting out, let me know by uh, either liking the video or subscribe. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.